Well, when I was about five, my dad took my sister and I down to the Eaton Centre uh, to support striking Eaton's workers. So we'd be given, we were given out flyers uh, at the door uh, as people walked in. Uh, and a couple hours in, we actually ended up getting escorted off the property by Eaton's security guards uh, for, for, for supporting those workers in, 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 that, in that way. Um, and, and, and with that came a lifetime ban to the Eaton Centre. Uh, as you can imagine, as a teenager growing up in the city of Toronto, that's a, that's a pretty big restriction to put on you. Um, the, the funny part of the story is just years later, uh, the, the owners of the Eaton Centre donated space uh, for the offices of the White Ribbon, White Ribbon Campaign, the Men's Action and Men's Violence Against Women, uh, an organization my dad co-founded. And so he had to go through the Eaton, Eaton Centre every day to get to his office. Uh, we thought at that point that perhaps the ban had been lifted. Um, it, it taught me a really good lesson, though, that you need to, to, you need to stand up for what you believe in, no matter what the cost. Uh, my name is Mike Layton, and that's my best story ever.